Hello, good morning, everyone. Gabriel and I are at church at the Ayyazi uh, Presbyterian Church. That's where we'll be coming to church. <laughs> it's our first day coming here to write our name. So, yeah. I hope the service is good. <laughs> Apparently, they only do English service when the students come to school. But uh, right now, it's just the peace service. It's just good. I want to the peace service. They start at 8.30 in the morning. Okay. Later days. Oh, we forgot our nose mask. I have nose mask, so Gabriel wore his, and I'll wear mine. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm at the Presbyterian Church of Ghana at the IHSC branch. Here's where I'll be attending uh, church from now on. And uh, I just wanted to translate this song, I'm no longer a slave to fear into tree. Here goes. With a melody, you surround me with a song. I hope somebody listens to this and be touched, be healed, learn from it, grow from it, heal from it. Bye and have a blessed day. Yeah, we are sorry. We finished church <laughs> and we're on our way home. Uh, I think we called the taxi to come pick us up, but he hasn't come yet, so we're just walking and hopefully we'll meet him on the road. <laughs> uh, I hope he's coming soon because I don't want my shoe to tear or something. The Ghanaians have the skill of walking in high heels and not breaking their shoes. It's a skill no country has. I think only Ghanaians and Nigerians have that skill. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Hello, good morning, guys. How are you today? It's Monday. Uh, I think today. Yeah, today is Monday. And um, my hubby and I will be going to Airtel Tigo because my network doesn't seem to be working properly and they say I have to come to their office 
today, so I'll be going there. And also, we'll be going to the post office. We'll find out how to get a PO box because Ghana's postal service is not active like uh, the Western world. So that's what they need to work on. Whoever comes in power, please. <laughs> Because I'm going to buy a PO box and having to go all the way to Adum or to. Uh, I'm not sure if they have a PO box, uh, a postal place in where the area where I live, so that I can inquire about a PO box. But when I go to the Adum one, I'll find out whether they have a place closer so I don't have to go all the way to Adum to go get my mail. It's ridiculous. Anyways. <laughs> Hope you can come along with me today. Bye. Hi guys, we are almost on our way to go to a doom, but uh, we're going to be mailing off a uh, 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 clothing Hello, that, that uh, one person needed for my husband to be made for her husband or her boyfriend. You guys, here it is, nicely done, and yeah. So and I make uh he made this suit for a friend of mine who's on uh, Facebook. I I wanted him to see his handiwork. So if any of you guys need any suits to be made, contact zero one one two three three two four three four seven seven four one zero. He makes suits for weddings, uh, for occasions, for he makes African suits. <laughs> He makes African suits, he makes uh, British suits, American suits. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll be mailing off the stuff to the lady's husband in Jamaica. So, yeah, <laughs> I'll let you guys know how things go. Bye. Yeah, but we are in a room right now, and now the air tells you the office, obviously the post office. <laughs> I went on my home, my network doesn't work, but when I leave, and I come closer to the city, the network is working. I spoke with them uh, on the weekend, and they said I should come today to see them and see how they can there it is. Yeah, it's after you enter. And it's opposite this building. Hi uh, guys, I am inside of the air uh, building. Um, I'm just waiting for them to see me. So yeah. I hope they can help me today. Okay, here it is. Hello guys, we've been trying to mail the stuff to Jamaica, but it's expensive for us to go to Jamaica. But uh, it's not that expensive to go to Canada. So we went to EMS to go to Jamaica. It would cost 394 Ghana CDs plus seven CDs of the cost of material and uh, labor of making the clothing and everything that's what they told uh, us so it will be like 400 and uh, i think three cities yeah but uh, when we went to dhl they said it cost 600 and something to go to jamaica about 500 and something to go to canada so we're going back to the ems to find out how much it's going to cost to go to jamaica and i'll probably talk to the lady that uh, we did the clothing for and see if she will pay for the extra for us to send it to her and the person she needs in Jamaica or we can just send it to her in Canada and she can mail it to the person she needs to be mailed to in uh, Jamaica okay later days hello guys we are at the EMS and they said to send to Canada is 328 cities plus the cost of the making of it which is like six to seven uh, cities so it comes up to about 300 and I think 30 something so we are, we'll be sending it to the lady in Jamaica uh, not Jamaica in uh, in Canada so uh, when I get a hold of her I'll ask her for her address and then we'll send it to her I hope she watches this video and she can uh, uh, 
put the extra hundred cities that has been incurred on, on our part to the cost of her of, of, of us making the clothes and mailing it to her in Canada. Okay, later days. Hi Angela, we're done with the stuff. The stuff that I sent to you via uh, video, that's how much everything costs. So you should know the next time when somebody wants it. And if you know anybody that's interested, uh, I'm sending a message to somebody called Angela who was interested in purchasing uh, fashionable clothing from my hubby. So yeah, we sent it to her in Canada because Jamaica is too expensive. I don't know why. <laughs> Even though Jamaica is closer than to Ghana than uh, Canada is. Okay, later days. Hi guys, we mailed off the merchandise to Angela. She hope I hope when she receives it, she lets us know how she likes it. I've already sent pictures to her already, but it's really really good quality made product. And if you want something like that to be done for you. Just contact my hubby and uh, he can help you. If you need female ones to contact my hubby and he will help you. Okay, bye, have a blessed day. My hubby and I are going to the China Mall. Look at that China Mall. <laughs> it is in Asopa. It wasn't here last year when I, I was here with my hubby. But since this year I came and I know that they have a China mall so we're gonna go see what they have in there. I'm hungry, I hope they have some <laughs> food for me to eat. Oh they have food outside. Okay. Anyways, we are in China Mall. It's pretty big. <laughs> pretty big. <laughs> it's pretty big. <laughs> we are just going to be wandering around. And see what they have. They have lots of stuff here. Uh, oh, they have so many toys. Oh, piano. I wanted to buy piano for Gabriel. Let's see. 360 Ghana CDs. Okay. Maybe next year. I want him to take some yes. piano lessons yeah. next year. So I'll come and get some piano lessons mm -hmm. for him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some yeah. Oh, some guitar. Guitar, guitar 200 CD. Okay. Okay. Oh, these are nice pictures. Yeah. Wow, this is pretty. Mm. This is really pretty. The many Ghana cities. Ah. Hi guys, we've reached home safely from the China Mall and from trying to mail stuff to Jamaica and ending up mailing it to Canada. Wow, um, I think maybe not a lot of people send stuff to Jamaica from Ghana. That's how come it's expensive and that they don't do it all the time to there. So yeah, I hope when Miss Angela receives her package, she lets us know how everything is. And so uh, yeah, later days. Thanks for spending the day with us.